Hello, I'm David Feng. Welcome to Wuhan Railway Station, one of the crown jewels of China's high-speed railway network. In a place where we have one of the largest, one of the busiest, and one of the fastest high-speed railway hubs on whole planet. I'm here to take you on a journey unlike any other. We start here as I invite you to join me for a unique trip across the entire Chinese railway network and a visit to the over 2,000 stations, more coming each and every single year as we discover China from an angle you've never done before, from the trains and tracks and the stations. From sun to snow, permafrost to plateaus, I bet you're as excited about this trip as I am, recalling the entire ride and entire project, Next Station China. China is a huge country. We're talking about 31 provinces just on the mainland. And of these, all but two have high-speed access. Later this year, they're expanding the network to other parts of the country, meaning even more connections by high-speed railway. And here in Wuhan, it really is a hub for all high-speed railway trains. For a country that's home to billions, counting the number of stations over the passengers can be challenging. Here are some figures though. The official railway's passenger site, 12306.cn, that's right, numbers in a domain name, give the total number of networked ticketing sites, in essence all the stations open to the public and staff with ticketing facilities at 2,299. Now, I've also been to the Jinshan Railway in Shanghai, and there's also Huangtudian Station in Beijing, which puts the total for the moment at 2,306. That's not including halts or cargo stations. And of course, Wuhan, Asia's our mega hub, as I like to call it, is just one of 2,306 train stations in China where you can just come, get a ticket, and go. So I'll be traveling across the entire network. The network will continue to expand. There will be plenty of new stations to come. I'll be traveling to all of them across the entire network. Ten years ago, in April, China got its first CRH trains running. First at speeds up to 250 km per hour, or 157 mph, then at amazing speeds up to 350 km per hour, or 217 mph. I will be departing from Beijing South or Beijing Nan Station on the 18th of April 2017, ten years exactly after CRH services began, and I'll end the whole journey in early February 2022, just as Beijing and Jiangjiakou get ready to host the Olympic Winter Games. These are the SKs or the power lines, which will of course mean that I'll travel across the entire national HSR network, but also on the regular rail network where they don't have those power lines. So I'll be travelling on those slower green trains that will take you across all of China to some stations with some rather odd names. For example, did you know that there's a station that's called Xigrass or Yangtao? Or that there's a station called Double Five or Wuru? I didn't know either. And I'll be taking you across all the network here on Next Station China. It will be a trip unlike any other. Even folks in the railway world here in China may very well be excited as I uncover all the stations on the mainland, something I personally wanted to do as early as 2009. On this very project I'm doing next station China, I will actually be stopping in person, getting off trains at all stations, which is why I'll be doing this over nearly five years for such a huge country. It's going to be a journey unlike any other I've done before, and believe me, I've done a fair bit. So, whether you're from Paris, <laughs> Perth, Pinyo, anywhere, I do invite you to come along with me via the web on this incredible journey on Next Station China. I'll see you on the web and across the network. 